Hello everybody and welcome back to Matt Has Town, where people survive on light, air, happiness, and good old fashioned hard work. Let's keep on playing, let's keep playing. Things are going well, as you all well know. Things are going really well, so I'm happy to keep that happening, keep that tradition running strong, and make sure that things keep on running well. We do have sheep now, which we got last episode, so we should be able to get even better coats. And we have... that's about it. Say more cows, but no, cows are about the same. Our stone reserve is running low, and our quarry itself is actually getting low. We'll be moving over to this area, I think, afterward. Maybe grabbing rocks on the outskirts of town first, just to, uh, just to kind of do that. Maybe, I'm thinking. Yeah, <clears throat> we'll do that first. We'll do some quarry work over here. Um, we're also going to get some fishermen up and running on this area, too. We turned away nomads. Yes, that's right. We did turn away some nomads last episode, too. Uh, the reason we turned away nomads is because we weren't ready to handle that many people. I think it was just a lot, unfortunately, and um, we didn't really have the food at the time to support that kind of growth spurt. So we kind of just decided, hey, no, not right now. Now, we're going to put a hospital up here, I think. Uh, that's one of the only buildings we are missing, and I'm thinking we might as well. Um, if we get one up here, that, that'll work. Uh, that should bring our health up to maximum. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a, let's get a hospital running over here. We might as well do it. I, I think that'll be fun. Um, and then we can build the roads around it, and then we can um, kind of keep on building houses out this way. Over here, we can we can expand a little bit as well. Uh, I'm just trying to think outside um, of where we're going to end up expanding at this point. It's just a lot of planning in my head. Uh, let's go ahead and do the usual. We have enough stone to, to do this. When I say the usual, I mean, um, you know, turning the last three houses into stone houses. This is officially oldie town. You know, the town that, you know that uh, that old part of your, your city? Um, that, that's like, you know, just full of antique buildings and has a lot of historical marks. Like, hey, in 1874, this is where some so-and-so settled. That's what this place is at this point. Eventually, it's going to be a, point, a place where state workers come and work and dress up like they used to live in an older era and speak like they actually live in that era so people can come and enter entertain themselves at some point. Not yet, but eventually. We're getting there. So, uh, I was told there is a well, it looks like there is a well, inside the marketplace, and actually putting a well over here is unnecessary. I'll keep that in mind next time I need to put a marketplace somewhere. My fault. Silly me. Didn't really think about it. I just kind of did it didn't really realize that the market had a well in it, but hey, future, for the future, now I know. Now I know. Um, alright, there, all the supplies are there, so it's just the builders need to get their fucking asses in gear. We need a spare farmer, so go ahead and do that. Anybody else die? We, we are down a, a miner. A crop has developed an infestation. Which, which crops? Is it this one? Or this one? I can't tell. It's this one right here. Well, I guess we'll just let it go. And, oh, they're just, it's just spreading. We're getting a, a bad crop infestation here. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully they'll just grab all the food before it gets destroyed. This, it can't really do much spreading. <clears throat> what? Waverine? I thought that said Wolverine. Oh, wait. Waverine. That's a boring name. I swear we had Wolverine in our town, but... We do not. That makes me sad. How we doing? Come on, guys. Get it in gear, man. We need you to kick kick some ass. Let's go. Love to see you starting to actually work hard here. That would be nice. Alright. How's our hospital? Same thing with this. 51% complete, too. Is there somebody around there, like, working it, or no? Can't friggin' tell. Ah, the merchant has come to town. That's good. Coats, 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 and iron. We want the iron. How much is that going to run us? A thousand. All right. There we go. We'll do that. We'll take all your iron, sir. I feel like that's something we can put to good use. So we'll go ahead and get rid of you now. Might as well. So I might. I mean, again, we we produce enough goods to kind of sustain that lifestyle, so. I'm alright with it. I'm alright with it. Get rid of that. Hospital's almost up and running. 
This house is not even halfway done yet for some reason. It's still pulling stone over, actually. That would be why. And we don't have a lot of stone. We need more um, stone cutters, though. Maybe not. Let's go down to 12. Actually, no. Back up to 13. I lied. How are our tools? Our tools are fine. Could even put. Uh, we could even maybe drop down one extra blacksmith now. Just keep it at two. Keep a spare laborer around. Hospital's almost done. Let's go ahead and build a road. Just around the hospital. We'll build out that way. Laborers should take care of that. cold, but nobody's dying of starvation or freezing to death yet, which is a good sign. Very happy to see that. How's our graveyard? 54 graves out of, uh, 19 out of 54, so we're not even halfway filled with that yet, which is good news. This, uh, is gonna be out very shortly, which does worry me a little bit, but nothing I can really do about it. Uh, once it's empty, like I said, we'll just start another quarry up somewhere. Get them working in that whole time. So we do have... Um, a hospital now, so that should help with health. That's good. Happy about that. Alright, cool. I really want to turn this over, but this one's not even done yet, and we don't have the stone really to be doing it, so I should probably hold off on doing these other two houses. For right now, anyway. But once this is done, I'll be happy that that is complete. Um... And then I guess I just need to start thinking, like, what next? Where do I want to go from here? I, I mean, obviously the one thing I want to do is get more stone. Stone is obviously something I need to do. It's uh, an incredible need of ours in this town. We, we are going through it like fucking crazy. To the point where I would love to see um, a merchant come up with stone, and I'd be like, yes sir, I'll buy all of it, please. We're out of farmers. Let's go ahead and put one more farmer there. We need them. Max farmers at all times. We are running a little bit low on the laborers, so um, building might not be something we can do quite right now. How are we how are we doing here? Twenty two percent. Still got quite a lot. Maybe we'll just let the we'll let the stone stockpile for a little while. I do like the way this little town area over here looks. It looks beautiful. We'll start getting ready to build more houses. We can start planning up the next part of town actually. Um. Hmm. Do I want a road running between them or not? Is the question. Probably not. We're gonna want a road running this way, so we'll go ahead and do one here. And one here. One here. Here. Ah, it doesn't fit. Why not? Why doesn't it fit? What? What? Let's do some house cancellations. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I canceled the orchard. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. No! Keep that there. Keep it there. No! That's to remove the entire orchard now. Fuck! No! That's so stupid! <sighs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Are you effing shitting on my hole? That is the stupidest thing. Ah, uh, whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, chop down all your food trees, you moronic people. Oh, I think it's because of this farm that's in the way, which is kind of strange. Which tells me... We need to put a road in between. I don't know what I'm going to do over here yet. 
This is dumb as fuck, though. Food. Lots of food. Food, food, food. I'll take it. We'll take all your cherries. We'll take... All your berries. And we'll take some of your pumpkins. What? Oh! Oh, we're overpaying by 300 units. Perfect. Trade done. Bye bye. Well, this is freaking obnoxious that this happened. I'm a little bit on the angry side that that somehow fucking happened, but. Whoa, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. You just gotta suck it up and deal with it. Our food sources are. It's kind of getting a little bit on the lower side, actually. Not liking that. Come on, one more. There you go. Get it out of there. Fucking plums. Farmers. There you go. <clears throat> Get that shit running again, please. Thank you. Uh, maybe we should just start building out this way instead. Let's start doing some planning over here. Oh wow, there's actually... Doesn't look as nice over here. This is not lined up properly either. Needs to be lined up. There we go. That's better. The next extension, right there. Obviously, we want to pause it all. Don't want to build it quite yet. Just want to get everything prepped for the next big part of the town. We could also do a, uh, a house here just to have it. We might even want to do like a road on this side just to kind of expand it a little bit. something like that. We'll put down the roads, I think, first. Just to have it all down, and we will have a road over here. We could even maybe even get through a tunnel over here. That might be good to get a tunnel all the way through to this mine area. If we wanted to do a tunnel, we could do one. Take a huge amount of stone, unfortunately, though, so maybe not so much. Get out of here, cat. I'm causing shit. I know you are. I know your games, little girl. We'll also get some fishing going on over here. Um, at least in this pond. Firewood's low. That's not good. We need more firewood. We have as many people working the firewood as, as we possibly can, though, don't we? Schools are looking good. Not quite maxed out, but they're both... You know, a good chunk of people. Oh, wait, somebody die being crushed by a rock? Eh, happens. Happens more often than you would think. Firewood is still really low. I'd love that to not be a problem, actually. Maybe we'll get more wood choppers over here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put a uh, another woodcutter over here. Not that. Kind of like over here-ish somewhere. Can't really expand over here house-wise, so we can go ahead and get that done. Get a builder over there. It's one. We'll get this up. We'll get as much wood chopping as we can uh, done. <clears throat> we could get a road over here too, which would be good. There go. That'll connect this side to here, and we'll even get another road over here. 
Oh, we had somebody die. I'll check it out in a second. Like that. Die to starvation. That's unfortunate. Probably just a really long, long, long run. Once again, for these people. But Wow, that one person is just kicking ass. That one builder that we had is doing better than the four builders we had prior. Congratulations, you're now a log cutter. Yay! Welcome to your new job. Alright. Died of old age. Uh, so we lost our fishermen. Hopefully we'll have some people growing up soon. 3,000 log limit is what I'm sitting at. Uh, I might want to raise that. Alright, let's take a look. What do you got? Beef? Not really. Cherry seeds? Tempting. You have a lot of stone, though. Do I want the stone or the wood? The food? As always, I think I'm going to take the food. Just think I, I think it's going to be better for us in the long run if we take the food. If we sell all of these jackets, which will be the last of them, we might be able to pull out a couple orders of stone here. Nope, not even one. Might be able to pull out like 10. How about 15? 17. 19. There we go. Trade, dismiss. Hide coats are pretty much done, so we're gonna go ahead and take the hide coats out. We don't really sell them anymore. We could put in like really warm coats, but I don't know if I want to. We don't have any stored clothing right now. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. Let's just do straight wool. Wool coats. Should be able to pull that one off, no problem. We have lots and lots and lots and lots of sheep, so hopefully that'll be no problem at all. We want another gatherer because we're down to gather and we need food, so gathering is going to work. Logs, hopefully, will end up working nicely. We do it. We will have roads shortly that connect ev every part of the town. Rocks are all right. Once we get over here, I guess our next expansion is going to be up this way. It's surprising how quickly we fill up an expansion. Well, maybe even over here, building some stuff would be good. Lots of things to think about. Could do apples. We should have plenty of them shortly. We have a lot of cherries, actually. We should probably do some cherry or something. Cherry booze. That sounds delicious, actually. Oh my god, look how much sheep we have. Well, we're actually not quite as full as I thought we were. Thought we had, like, maximum sheep in there, but we do not. Yep, firewood is low, though we do have another woodcutter, so hopefully that'll be... That'll help alleviate the problem. We're probably low on wood because this guy's just stocking his firewood constantly. Um... Which is fine. Yeah, he's stocking it. He's just constantly stocking a thousand firewood. Could set up for automatic purchases, but I like to do it manually. It's more fun for me that way. Keep on chopping away over there. To regrow our dumb trees, because we're dumb. Because my people are dumb. get hungry. Luckily they live really close to where they work, which is a rare case in this town. 168 members still going stupidly strong. The good thing is these children that are in school are typically kind of coming in waves, like, oh, suddenly like all of them are adults, or educated adults, and are, are ready to work, so uh, hopefully that'll continue that way. These are both freaking almost full. We might want to get another barn over here for these people, but... I'm not entirely sure about that quite yet. But I will say, you know what, is go get all this stone. Go get it. It's not far. Could be good. I think getting that much stone is going to be useful. We can also start getting ready to uh, upgrade these houses shortly. I kind of want them to, the laborers to get that stone first. I mean, come winter time, all the farmers will do it uh, too, so we should be able to get that stone very quickly uh, once winter does hit. 
But for now, um, I'm not gonna pull. I'm not gonna make these laborers builders and let them kind of do their thing over here. I just like to be able to get that before we upgrade. Not. I wouldn't call this a slower episode. It's more just. The thing is, when you do mass expansion like this, you need to then follow it up with some balancing, and um, that's what I'm doing right now. Like, if I had continued to expand like crazy, the whole town would have died. It's just maintaining that balancing act of expansion and uh, productivity. So, and I'm once again, I'm very happy I did not take in those nomads. We might be able to get ready to take in the next wave of nomads. I think we'll be all right if we end up taking in the next set of nomads. I think that'll be uh, something we can definitely do, but I, well, I'm just glad I didn't take them at the time. Seeds, huh? Could take the search. Why not wheat seeds? Oh, we can. Take the wheat seeds. Take the wheat seeds. We might as well. Little puppy's going for a walk outside my window. Got a little scared there. Didn't know what the hell that was. Dismiss. Oops, somebody died of a falling tree. That's unfortunate. That's a real shitty way to go. Uh, was anybody? Yeah, we did have a laborer able to replace them. And now we have a spare laborer, which we're going to put in Fisher. Fishering. Fishering men. But we have wheat seeds now, so we can actually start growing some wheat, which is just another source of food for us. Uh, at the same time, I'm curious. Could we build... We could build a 7x14 field here. Yeah, we could get another farm going probably right here. It's tempting. It doesn't fit as neatly as I'd like it to, but it's there. But I think I'll wrap this episode up here been going on for a good chunk of time so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying it as always your support is much appreciated and uh if you have yet to do so hit that subscribe button for more daily banished and i will see all of you guys next time Bye bye